New details tonight on a former coach at St. Johns County Schools accused of sexual battery on students. Tyler Reagan was banned from district property in 2018 after accusations he sent inappropriate text messages to a student. Records we obtained today show at least one other alleged victim came forward years later. News for Jackson reporter Ann Maxwell joining us live at Bartram Trail High School where Reagan used to be the coach. Ken, according to the warrant, those sexual encounters happened over a period of years, including on school district property here in St. Johns County. The warrant also says Reagan confessed. Tyler Reagan is accused of having sexual relations with two underage teen girls from 2017 to 2019 while he worked for the St. Johns County School District. According to a district spokesperson, Reagan was an assistant coach for weightlifting and track and field at Bartram High School, as well as a volunteer at Pedro Menendez High School in St. Augustine. Matthew Valdiveso lives in the Bartram Trail area. I was reading to myself, I was like, holy moly, and then I saw Bartram and I was like, that's five minutes away. So it's... um. It's pretty crazy stuff, you know. You just don't want that in your community. In 2018, the principal at Pedro Menendez High School sent this email to administrators, saying a teacher reported to him that Reagan had sent her daughter, who was a student at the school, highly inappropriate text messages. He goes on to say the district banned Reagan from school property and events and reported him to the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. But court records show Reagan wasn't arrested or charged until years later. This email shows a former student sent a tip to the Florida High School Athletic Association in December of 2021, reporting Reagan began sending her flirtatious messages when she was 15 years old. She says they started having sexual interactions when she turned 16, and it continued for two years. The tip was then sent to the school district. A spokesperson says they reported it to law enforcement right away. The tipster said she decided to come forward after she saw a video of Reagan oogling an athlete at a girls' weightlifting meet two weeks earlier. She wrote, I do believe he hasn't changed and that he is an active threat to young girls in your high schools. Today, the district superintendent sent a statement to News for Jack saying these charges against Reagan are despicable, saying they support the work of the sheriff's office here and that kind of behavior is not tolerated in our schools. Live in St. Johns County and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.